Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another Sims 4 real estate episode, episode 5. But before we get into today's video, I would just like to remind you guys that in the description box below are several links uh, to websites that have to do with the Black Lives Matter movement. It's uh, links that will give you uh, resources and information that you may need to uh, call numbers, petitions to sign, um, and places to donate if you have money. And I've also included videos that you can watch where the monetization ad money goes towards the Black Lives Matter movement organization. So if you're like me and you don't have any money, uh, you can watch those videos knowing that you helped donate. So with that, I'd like to get into today's video. And this is my beachside modern build. Um, I'm kind of giving you like an overhaul of what it looks like, you know, all the angles and kind of where I put it in my world uh, in Brindleton Bay. And I know I usually give the whole, um, you know, realtor type like uh, 1940s voice but I just thought once again I would just talk I'd rather just talk and describe to you what I did so on the outside here you can see that I put kind of like a olive somewhat brownish like plaster um, wall outside and kind of um, gated it off with like this wooden modern sheet gate for the front yard and as you can see it has a driveway where I built it on I mean obviously when you download it and put it wherever you're gonna put it down uh, it'll probably look different this is just me kinda showing you like what it would look like if you stuck it in this exact spot in your Sims 4 game as you can see I gave the second story uh, windows that you can see inside the home but the first floor is clearly not any windows at all and I did that specifically because as you'll see here the first floor and the second floor in the back of the build is completely open windows for open lighting so that uh, you know you can see everything and see like the views of the ocean and stuff and once again I gated it off with a gateway here so that your sims can come you know out the back or through the front and because this is I built it near the beach my sims can go out this way and go to the beach faster rather than having to exit out the front of the home and as you can see both sides have a porch this one I made more porch like whereas the front one doesn't have any furniture and there's a pool kind of like garden and as I'm showing you here you know windows that are open for your sims to be able to see so as we go into the front you'll see that there's the mailbox and the gate and I made kind of like a walkway up to the door where uh, the front door is and you can kind of get a more clear look as to what the front yard looks like of this uh, beachside modern you have like your trees and little rock areas but you also have a front garden with like a hose area and some lights if you're gardening at night time and that's kind of what the tree looks like kind of gives it like a uh, eco feel sort of and then on the opposite side you also have a tree as well as well as a as you'll see later in the video um, kind of a uh, I don't know if you would call it porch but kind of like a second story porch area so as we come into the front part of the house you can see it's kind of got that stucco feeling on the outside but on the inside I've made it more uh, like um, New York style chic modern where it's got the uh, brick inlaid walls and the wooden flooring which kind of gives it kind of like hipster vibes I guess you could say and I separated it by two half wall partitions so that you kind of have three rooms even though it's in one main room and that's kind of the view that you get from this main room here and this side here is the living room where you'll have like sitting areas you know you can watch the television your sims can sit and you know have parties get togethers and there's kind of like wall art like I said, there's a television here that they can watch. They have like their little um, kind of like chic, modern looking uh, furniture along with kind of like some, you know, coffee tables that look kind of not so modern. And again, the walls are half partition walls so that it kind of separates you from each individual parts of the rooms. And there's only three parts. This side is the living room area and this side's kind of like the reading nook area or where you're going to have party and soirees where your sims 
can sit and relax, read a book, you know, hang out with each other, throw parties and stuff. And there's like the place where they can do art and look outside the views of the window. There's like the reading book area and the furniture. Now the hallway goes from that modern feel to like a wooden, um, wooden tiled wall and wooden flooring uh, that leads to this hallway that goes into the kitchen. And this is the kitchen, which again has that same living room feel. Um, it has, you know, concrete flooring, you know, very like brick and laid walls. Just the bricks here are a little bit darker than the ones in the living room. Um, at least I'm pretty sure they are. And you've got your little kitchenette, kitchen area, you know, your kitchenette area here. And then your kind of like uh, morning breakfast sitting area and your like uh, dining room area or morning breakfast area too if you would rather have your sims to that and this is what the kitchen looks like it has like a modern chic appliance uh, feel to it with modern appliances but the drawers and the tabletop drawers all are very like farm chic to feel looking to kind of give you like a hipster modern vibe and this is the first floor master bedroom the only master bedroom that's on the first floor and this is the hallway that you come down when you enter into the master bedroom. And as you can see, it has kind of like a grayish uh, uh, painted walls, um, car dark carpeted flooring with somewhat kind of chic furniture. And then you have the bathroom, the master bathroom, which has that same wall partition down the middle, which separates like the toilet and sink and drawers with the shower and the bathtub and the places where you put towels and stuff and it has hard wooden floors and a rock uh, you know spa wall type vibe as you can see you have like your bathtub your marble bathtub your shower and that's kind of what this looks like and then from this angle you'll see how it's like a half wall partition and your sims can go on either side and it just kind of separates the room to kind of give you two different feels. Now upstairs, and here's one of the residents of the home, upstairs you have this hallway to the left and then this hallway to the right, which then makes a left and curves down that way. Now this first room here is a gym area where your sims can go and, um, you know, relax or do whatever people do at gyms, work out and stuff. I don't know if people find that relaxing, but yeah. And then as we go down this hallway, uh, you can see the views outside with that window and you come back and you'll see other views from the opposite side of the house, which kind of gives it like natural lighting. Here's the second master bedroom that's upstairs, um, or the first master bedroom that's upstairs. Uh, this room has an olive painted walls, but the same dark carpeting and darker furniture that kind of matches the oliveness of the painted walls. But the bathroom is the same with the same wooden partition, the same rock spa tiling walls and wooden floors and the same, you know, partition walls that separates the bathroom from like the toilet, the bathtub, the shower, all of that. And uh, as you can see, you get, as you did with the first master bedroom downstairs, you kind of get uh, windows where you can look outside or your Sims can look outside and enjoy their scenic views. So it kind of has like that modern chicness to the bathroom. Now, as we go to the opposite side of the hall that was to the right, you come across this second master bedroom. This, like the other one, has kind of like a olive feel, but it's more brown painted walls, but same dark carpeting. And uh, it has the same uh, style bathroom. So I think I quickly show you this because you've kind of seen it on the first floor and the second floor of master bedrooms, uh, master bath, master bedrooms. And so it kind of has that same view. Your Sims will still get a view of the outside and uh, you can see that they can see the outside and kind of get like that chic modern feel of like high rises have with their bathrooms so as we go up as we went upstairs and we make a right we go from that you know bedroom down this way and you can see where the hallway was that leads to the gym and where these windows kind of give you that feel and we come to the last master bedroom which is on this side of the house to the right side of the house 
It has a dark brown painted walls with uh, dark brown carpeting and kind of like furniture to match that coloring. And it kind of looks the same, it's just smaller and the bathroom's kind of different too. It has that same wall partition and the same spa tiled rock walls with wooden flooring. Just slightly different feel on that. It's not as big as the other master bathrooms. Um, it has the same sink style area, the same marble bathtub, just a different shower, and it also has a toilet too, but, um, but in this uh, bathroom, the wall partition doesn't separate the two. And this is the outside uh, patio area on the second floor where your sims can throw parties. They have a bar, an area to dance where they have a dance floor, as you can see. This side, they can dance, get together, sit down and talk, as well as relax. And then on this opposite side, they can relax as well, but they can also play a game of darts or they can sit and, you know, uh, get a spa massage. And here's the bar area where your Sims can come and make themselves drinks. And please forgive the, um, wind chimes in the background but the air came on so I can't control that and on this side of the bar you can see where your sims would sit and you can see that this is where they would sit and you know get their drinks if they hire somebody to come and do drinks for them and this is kind of like a 180 degree view of what your sims would see when they're on the second story floor patio now here is the back uh, yard of this build and you can see that we're coming in through the front door or not front door but like the patio door and this is it has a garden a picnic area to eat where if they grill stuff they can eat outside and you can see that up there on the patio porch um, you can also see that there are things for the pool for their gardening up there on the porch that they can sit and you know has to do with gardening as well as a little spa area here where they can either lay down and suntan or exercise you know meditate and then this is a view from the pool specifically the uh, diving board and this is kind of like a 360 degree view of what your sims would see if they were on the diving board looking all around them so you can see that your sims would see uh, their surrounding, which in this case, uh, where this build is in my sims world, it's in Brindleton Bay. And so this is kind of what this build looks like. It has like rock uh, flooring on the roof of the um, home. And uh, that's just kind of like, you know, kind of considered a modern feel without feeling like it needs to have a roof and uh yeah so if you like this build it's uh i believe 400,000 simoleons it's a four bedroom four bathroom house and uh yeah so if you like this beachside modern you can find it on the gallery on the sims 4 uh just make sure you include custom content because sometimes my stuff is getting flagged as that even though it doesn't have any custom content in it and that's because i have mods and custom content most of the stuff i upload to the gallery doesn't have any of the custom content on it or anything so just make sure to include custom content and look up the hashtag doberman girl 17 and you will be able to find all my stuff also, I just want to quickly remind you that, again, in the description box below, I've included links and resources for the Black Lives Matter movement. Uh, links that will give you to websites that have more information about how you can help. And links to videos where the monetization ad money goes towards Black Lives Matter movement organizations. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. And... Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this build. I hope you enjoy this series. And I will see everyone next time. Bye.